Okay, this will be the next series of the uh, speech that I was giving out, starting with that last one. Okay, now I want to go into the basis as to how they started to uh, create this fabricated self of subconsciousness. And it's not your it's not your it's not your real subconscious that I'm talking about. It's the one that they're trying to uh, create the fabricate of, uh, you know, duplicate of. They have this behavior uh, that they twist and hang on a minute, that they twist and try to manipulate out onto when you're a kid. And they do this with peer pressure. What this is and what it does basically is, well, they unfavor uh, not, uh, you be just being yourself. Meaning if you try to be yourself, well, you get teased, you get taunted, you're, uh, you don't fit in per se. You notice, notice hint, hint, I'm hinting at the words fit in. Unless you listen to a certain type of music, unless you talk a certain way, act a certain way, behave a certain way, you get teased, you get taunted, you get uh, rejected. All of it just stems and literally points in the direction that you being yourself is not acceptable. That's the behaviorism of which they demonstrate out onto you. Growing up, I never get, I never, I, I, I always quit uh, before. Uh, growing up, I was, um, I wasn't sure about what it was, but I just, I just, you know, I just didn't really go into that. And I started, to, I, I, I eventually, I started to question both halves of the situation, you know, but. I never like uh, really went out of my way to do certain things to impress people. It, it just wasn't in my nature to do it. But I did test uh, psycholo you know, sci uh, social tests just to see the reactions and the behaviorism. And then it wasn't until I got older to where I did the uh, final test that I started to understand what this BS actually was. And basically, it's to basically put, uh, literally uh, trick you into discarding your real self and replace it with the, uh, you know, the, the self that fits in. That, that was the whole point of what they're trying to do. They were trying to discard the self that God gave you when you were born. By doing that. That's like a sign of betrayal, man. Don't betray. Don't betray. Yourself. Don't. Because it's when you do that. It's when you allow yourself to be susceptible to that just to fit in is when you give away your control that was given to you. You could be black, Hispanic, white, Asian, Jap Japanese, Indian. You could be any color or any nationality. And it wouldn't mean shit at all what music you listen to. You got ears. It's your choice to listen to that music. It doesn't matter what nationality the singer has. As long as you like the music, that's all that matters. When you go out and you want to do something and you know you want to do something that you want to do, that you that 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 is fun for you, you do it. You don't do it out of convenience for someone else. No. Or you don't do it to impress some. No, no. Because then if you let's say like you're trying to build a relationship, right? Well, if you start building a relationship on something by doing something you don't like that you both don't like, well, then. It gets mixed up and then the one person is going to do something, you know, just assume that that you're going to like that. And eventually it turns out you don't. And then the lies start just because, well, you just want to be nice. And that builds up. No. A good relationship is not built up on lies, man. And for those who do have a good relationship that is not built off a lie, I, 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 I applaud all of you. I truly do. It's very rare to find one like that. You know, it's very rare. And it's because of this uh, 
this socialist tactic that they have that so many people have grown to be violent. When it comes to these gang stalkers and these, pe- and these, uh, these people who just give in to this stuff, you need to understand they're, they, they're not up there anymore. They, they don't have, they've long since betrayed themselves and discarded their true self. So when you see a perp acting the way that they act, when you see these individuals do this, understand that the mindset behind that individual is fabricated. And whatever true self that they were born into this world with has long since been stolen away. What I'm hinting at here is that, yes, they've long since lost their souls, okay? That's basically it. So the devil is like, when you you start to see that for what it is, I'm telling you, the devil is a conniving bastard. I'm not not even joking about that. He he is a conniving bastard. Because it wasn't until, like, later on as I was growing up that I started to see that for what it was. And then I had my awakening later on to the whole truth. And then all of a sudden, so many I'm starting to get warnings of certain things, different things that are just opening my mind left and right. And then I'm just I'm just in a state of mind to where, like, they can't do anything anymore. They try, but I know why they do it. So by knowing why they do it. Whatever attempt that they do for whatever purpose becomes in void because you know what it is. Even if you seek, you know, confirmation on it, it's not it's still not giving them control. It's not. They get it in their head that it does, but no, it doesn't. A person can get reassurance, but it doesn't mean that they're giving you control. A person can uh, check their own facts out and just make sure they are more assertiveness. They get more of a uh, foundation on on what they believe on what their beliefs are, but it doesn't mean they're giving you control. A person can second guess themselves, but it doesn't mean they're giving you control. Seeing this stuff for what it is, man, I've become a whole lot more stronger than I've ever been in my entire life. And I believe that all of us who have survived through all the peer pressure, through all the hate, through all the taunt and teasingness, through all the nastiness that these uh, perpetrators acted upon us ever since we were kids, growing up, through teenagers, becoming adults. There was a reason. I believe all of the stuff that we went through was our rite of passage. Because no matter what they kept throwing at us, we fought. We stood our damn ground. And we did not allow ourselves to be consumed. We didn't allow ourselves to be altered by their uh, actions. We didn't allow ourselves to give in to any of this madness, that of which they've long since lost their mind and souls to. And today, on this day, we're still doing the same. We do the same when we hit on media. And literally, literally spill out the truth to all of those around us who are all these social media outlets who are being lied to. When we talk about this openly out in public, that's still that's still us reformatting our freedoms, uh, literally reformatting that control, saying we are in control of ourselves, not you, not the government, not this bullshit satanic uh, organization that wishes to have control. No. And when I say this, even if I may swear It's not out of hate. It's out of assertion, strength, and bravery to say it. Seeing all of this stuff for what it is, it gives me more and more strength no matter what they're doing because it just... It's just fueling me with more and more uh, resist... The strength to resist all of this stuff that they are doing to try out of an attempt to control out of attempt to convert, out of an attempt to manipulate. And it's putting me in a state that's even far more, far more resistant to their madness than I've ever since been. I don't know if any other TI has experienced this, but let me tell you, 
they have tried so many tactics and I just I just walk past it like it's not even happening. I don't even give it a glance. I don't even pay attention to it. It's it's as if like it just doesn't matter. What I mean is I view their ta- basically I'm basically it's so insignificant that it's not even worth a shred of notice to me. It's not even worth a glance. It's not even worth even being aware of. That's how pathetic it is. And I want people to understand in the playlist that I've created, it's uh, it's a video on there to where it heightens your uh, your vibrations, heightening your uh, literally raising and heightening your vibrations is what brings positivity into your life, into your being. Raising your vibrations puts you more in the stasis of uh, being more itself with your at, at the spiritual level. That's why they try to downgrade your spiritual levels because they don't want you to be aware of the abilities you have. They can't control you if you're at a high spiritual level, at a high with high heightened vibrations. They can't do anything. They can't. They could try, but um, what I mean is, is that it won't bother you. It won't get a reaction. It won't make you angry. It won't make you sad. It'll be nothing. You know, it'll be it'll literally feel like nothing. You in in a state like this, you're able to get a whole lot more done. And let me tell you, like they will, they tried a lot of manipulation with the nanotech they laced on me. Didn't work. It didn't work. It was like, no, look over here. No. No. Didn't work. No matter how many times they try to desperately get me to glance somewhere, no control. They couldn't make me do it. And they tried this five to six or seven times, and no, it didn't work. It didn't. So, with me raising my vibrations and them doing their patricious acts, I found a formula to where it's actually allowing me to become more used to what they're doing and more, and, and actually allowing me to gain more experience, becoming more and more stronger instead of the opposite. Because you see, if you're going through this with a lower vibrations, it's going to have the opposite effect. In the playlist that I have on this channel, there's a lot of, uh, ooh, excuse me. <laughs> There's a lot of frequency videos on there that uh, that will help uh, regulate blood flow and uh, help bring oxygen and blood flow to the head. If you're not aware of what these weapons do in the 5G and the radiation that they send out through your environment, it um, promotes lack of oxygen to your cells. So there's plenty of frequency videos there. I hot, what's going on, I highly recommend people to download that. If you If you need a website that does this i have plenty of them linked on the on the guy channel and the guy channel is mm's ti strategy guide you can go ahead and look even farther down below through the videos in the list on this channel you'll see that i did do an introduction uh an introduction video for that and you'll be able to find a link there as well I may have even made a comment from that channel onto this channel so just pay mind to the comments too you may find it but it'll be in my older videos It'll be in the older ones. Um, other than that, uh, man, like I, I believe that all of us who have made it this far, we were protected, man. We it, we were protected even when we, even while we were blind. All this time, even while we were blind, we, all of us were still protected. You know, we could have. We could have been breaking the law. We could have been doing anything, any type of sinful thing, but we were still protected despite the devil's uh, intrusive, connivish ways. We were still protected. And I'm truly thankful for that, man. I, I, I am truly thankful for that. I really am. Because... The one thing I told myself, man, that like I would never, like, 
I, I understood I start, when I started to understood how bad this stuff was getting was that the best thing to is just to start avoiding those types of people who, you know, act like that, who uh, who try to convert you over into a life of sinfulness, who try to, you know, convert you into drug addiction, who try to convert you in a line of crime, who try to convert you in a line of perversion of anything, of anything, really. And now I'm, st I'm starting to it's not, I'm starting to see that all of that that happened was the devil's corruption trying to corrupt our lives out of a desperate attempt to corrupt our souls. It's stated in the Bible that the devil will be on the lookout for who he see who for who he uh, believes can be received as food. I don't know about the next person. But the devil ain't getting no meal out of me. And these Luciferians, these devil worshipers, these witches, they can tell them I said it. And I do not care. Period. Because I believe that um, even, even though these times within, within this realm that we live in today is dark. I believe we're going to... Um, find ourselves in a better better uh, spiritualized spectrum in the next coming years things may be dark now but that doesn't mean we can't uh, put a stop to it while we still can these uh, perpetrators man they are they're letting their evil nature out just way too fast and I don't, I, I don't I don't know about the next person but I don't believe that now of course they're doing this stuff of course they're doing all of these acts but I don't believe that they're going to be remaining in positions to keep doing this for far long I don't believe that I don't believe God the most high is uh gonna let them just it, it just force this technology on the people i don't believe so i don't believe it's gonna happen i believe there is gonna be a revolution i said it once before and i'll say it again when i salute to you to the united anything when i embrace or accept the united anything it's of the people not the governmental factions, not their laws of anything that have been uh, used to step on the laws that were set to, you know, infringe harm upon the people. I, 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 I wish for the uh, United, the unit uh, the United, uh, such, uh, basically, damn, I'm trying to think of the right words to say, but I'm not too much. I'm not too much of a spokesperson. You know, but there are people good out there for that. But it's times like this that I actually do wish I had uh, kept some of my older inspirational videos, because at times like that, like I was able to do an inspirational speech, you know. Um, when it comes to, uh, to United Anything, man, I, re I, 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 I wish to be able to uh, uh, be as a uh, represent not not as a representative but be a part of the unionization of people not of the states not of the government that has been portraying its corruption on us for years you know but in this case this ain't no if i was to tell you the truth uh of how i see it the country is not um the united states it, it, there's nothing united about this. No, nah, man, we're divided. We are divided. It's us against them because these individuals who are aware of the corruption are being paid off and they don't care that your freedom is, is being stripped away. They do not care at all. I think I'm going to end this uh, video here. I can only hope for the best for everybody. Please stay safe and stay strong.